Hello members of the RC505 Facebook group. I have my 505 lined up here with Ableton Push 3 and we're going to do some comparing and contrasting of these machines, uh, different ways of dealing with audio. And uh, Push 3 is designed as much more than just a looper, but I have set it up in a very 505 style way. Five tracks with loopers on it and a drum machine as well. They are both in sync with the MIDI cable there, so right now my voice is going through the 505 into So let's get to the looping. We'll set this one. The controls are a little bit different. Obviously they would be, but um, one, two, three, four. 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 So that is a basic sort of looping thing. This is how you select the different uh, Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. So I still haven't fully uh, got how to control these things quite yet. That was a one bar loop on uh, track number one. But uh, I will also show you that. again ready to do some ready to do some Again. 
said a bunch of different loops at different loop times. It's a different loop length for every bar. I said a bunch of different bar links and now it's going to repeat like this. I said a bunch of different loops at different loop times. It's a different loop length for I said a bunch of different so we can learn. <laughs> record a bunch of different stuff here. But as you can see, there's a lot of loop power here. And, you know, obviously, over here on the 505, we are really used to the way it works. Why, why does this keep moving? I don't get it. Why does it move? Why do these controls keep moving by themselves? It should stay where it is. Why is it doing that? Anyway, so here is the 505 that we all know very well. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, four. Five, six, one, two, three, four. Anyway, at least we know that here, the loops aren't going to start doing themselves. They aren't going to. One, two. Mute. All right. Mute. Why is it still playing? Testing, testing. All right, we're going through here. So we know how easy it is to do loops on the 505. Just keep recording them in, dub over them. So we know how easy it is to do loops on the 505. Just, just add more them, stuff in the, in the loop if you need them. to, and that's that. So we know how easy it is to do loops on the 505. It's a very simple arrangement for your tracks and stuff, but, but if you want to do a lot of other instrumentation, you might have to have something else beside it. Uh, another synthesizer, I've seen a lot of people using a MPC-1, for example, uh, to put that over there. Of course, MPC is an entirely different sound um, system, operating system, whatever you want to call it, firmware. And so it's a little bit different than Ableton Live. So if you have been a long-time Ableton Live user like I have, it can be appealing, the idea of being able to... The idea of being able to uh, exchange your files back and forth with Ableton Live with total transferability like that. So that that is impressive. Um, shift, let's see. Mute. So I could try to